This is the official Ecom Kings Amazon FBA free course supplied to you via the Ecom Kings YouTube channel. The content in this course is going to go over an intro, expectations versus reality, choices, which is your retail versus your wholesale, creating your Amazon account, programs and apps, product research, and shipping to Amazon. There is a lot more, but it's going to be a big old list if I put everything down, but this is going to be the main stuff, the first lot of stuff that you're going to see. All of this stuff is going to help you get a shipment to Amazon and start your FBA business. So who are we? We're at Amazon.co.uk sellers. We're in the UK, starting our FBA business in 2022. We quickly scaled over to £100,000 in sales within three months and then going VAT registered. Started off doing retail arbitrage and moving on to wholesale just before going VAT registered. And what this did is this helped us learn the ropes, starting off doing retail arbitrage and then we found out the wholesale was quickly scalable and we quickly scaled up to the VAT registration. And at that point, everything did change. So what should you do? Wholesale, retail arbitrage or online arbitrage? Well, let's have a look at the three. So with wholesale, it's easier to scale. High sales, but lower ROI. You need more money to invest into your business, and but it has more growth potential than the other two. With retail arbitrage, it's easy to do in your spare time. It doesn't require a massive investment. Hard to scale past the VAT registration as the margins become very slim. With online arbitrage, which is a, a small section of Amazon FBA that some people do, it requires a lot of manual product research can, and can be very time consuming. It has more growth potential than retail arbitrage, but not as much as the wholesale model. And you also do not need much of an investment to start your online arbitrage journey. So 80, according to ChatGPT, which I asked earlier, 83% of people fail at FBA. So the question is why? Well, let me reverse that and say why it works. Most people have false expectations when it comes to FBA. Too many people taking pictures with their Ferraris while doing retail arbitrage in Tesco's. Step one of how it actually works. You spend hours and hours looking for one item. You finally find that one item and send it to Amazon FBA. And to sum that up, that could take a month. It could literally take 30 days for you to go around, look at shops, find one product that makes one pound, put it into a box and send it to Amazon FBA. And this is because your first product is going to be very, very important. You're gonna be looking at it. You're gonna be going back. You're gonna be looking at it again, going back, looking at it again. You're gonna be looking at the data over and over again, wondering to yourself if this is the correct product to purchase. And when you finally make that decision and say, yes, this is gonna be the one I purchased, you're gonna feel so much better and the products are gonna start flying through. The next step is simple. You send the item to Amazon FBA and you wait for Amazon to sell the item. The item sells and then the money will be deposited into your bank account after a certain amount of days. Now this is the hard part. Remember, you aren't rich yet. You need to reinvest that money back into your business and you need to buy more stock. And you're probably going to be doing this for at least a year until you start taking a profit out of your business. So are you ready? Are you ready to start your Amazon FBA business? If you're happy and you know your game plan, watch the next video and let's get started with Amazon FBA.